you probably don't recognize me today, but you've seen a picture of me. It's a pretty famous picture. Iconic, some people even say. It was taken during this little music festival called the Woodstock Festival and Art Fair, <laughs> summer of 69. <laughs> it was taken during an afternoon rainstorm. And there's this girl. She's about 18, slim, beautiful, long blonde hair, flowers woven in her hair. And she's standing in the mud, topless. Her arms are outstretched. She's getting drenched. And she's like, everything is beautiful. The world is beautiful. I'm beautiful. Everything's beautiful. And I look at that picture, and I wonder, what happened to that beautiful, idistic young girl? No, seriously, because it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm in the background doing one of these. <laughs> this little stupid hippie found a toad in the mud and threw it at me. You can see it in the back of the picture. There's a little dot. It's coming straight towards my face. A live toad. <laughs> so I miss photogenic, thick and beautiful, and the every environment of everything that's just beautiful. I am immortalized in that same picture. <laughs> I think it first appeared in Rolling Stones. And pretty much anything that symbolizes existence. <laughs> and you know, what I'm amazed about is that nobody was speculating about the crazy chick in the background. <laughs> I mean, I'm as goofy looking as my seventh grade school picture and my current driver's license photo, and nobody notices. <laughs> Which just makes me wonder, you know, how far could somebody go? if they just had a cute topless chick running in interference for them. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, but Woodstock. I went with my two girlfriends, Rachel and Yvonne. Our parents were less than thrilled. My father was like, there's liable to be some undesirables there. Which for my father meant um, drug pushers and communists. So communist and drug pushers together, right? And he could not understand why we would want to leave our great jobs at the Tasty Freeze. <laughs> um, I mean, and to leave our bosses high and dry because, you know, on a hot August weekend, everybody's going to want ice cream. We were 18 and 19. I mean, come on. It was going to be Janice, Jimmy, the dead. We were not going to be denied. The amazing part was the travel and, and meeting the people along the way. And by the time that we you know, started to hear the music and we got to, got to the stage, we're like, something's got to change. Rachel decided to be star child. <laughs> Yvonne was the first Aquarius, and then she went to cool blue persuasion, you know, something like that. Um, but then she settled on something simple called Harmony Girl. And I had to think about it for a little bit. And I'm kind of thinking, you know, what's, how can I encapsulate the, the feeling of this all? So, uh, my name is Peace. <laughs> <laughs> and then my girlfriends are like, really? <laughs> I mean, come on. Did you think about this? And I'm like, well, I mean, I know I'm a little naive and everything, but I was kind of going. And then I did start kind of thinking about it. And then I'm kind of thinking, well, maybe somebody might be thinking that I'm intended to go on one way, but they're thinking that they're intended to supposed to go some way. And I kind of went, oh, no. All right, um, peace flower. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> so then it was time to find the boys. I mean, come on, it's free love. What better way to represent the nation, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> so that night, we, uh, we met three guys from Loving Spoonful. <laughs> all, yeah, uh -huh. all, <laughs> <laughs> all but John Sebastian, and we're kind of like, you know, well, where is he at? And they were like, well, you know, he's married, he doesn't move, you know, mess around. And we were like, well, okay. We got these three guys, and they're like really cool, and they're really cute, and yeah. Um, so, uh, you know, it wasn't until like a year and a half later that I found out that Loving Spoonful didn't even really perform at Woodstock. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they, they, they were already broke up a year before. But, but the guys, and, mm, yeah, okay. 
so, um, yeah, the guys. I'm sorry, I'm still thinking about the guys. <laughs> um, so, we met the guys, and so we're there, and I'm kind of realizing this is quite a moment. Quite a moment we got going on here. Oh my. Well, you're probably wondering what this all is. Well, today is rather an anniversary of sorts. Yvonne, Harmony Girl, she went down rather a long, hard road. <laughs> We lost her to a drug overdose in 79. And so every year, Rachel and I, we get together, and we have a toast to Yvonne and to all the Woodstock memories. This year, I will be doing the remembering alone. Had to be one of us, right? So tonight, I will play some Janice. And I will drink to the girls. And will the girl in that photo, the one that's burying her breast and getting drenched in the rain and being the very spirit of the Woodstock nation? Well, I was serious when I said, I wonder what happened to her. I wonder if she ever heard, Mom, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> Grandma's hot. <laughs> I hope she had a good life. Me, I've dodged some toads along the way. <laughs> and deep down, I'm happy I was that 